Meghan Markle's friend Marcus Anderson has become the second most important man in her life and heavily influences her decisions, it has been claimed today. Meghan and Marcus Anderson are believed to have first been introduced in 2011 when he was working at Members Club Soho House in Toronto. The now Duchess had just moved to the city to start filming the first season of Suits. The pair are believed to have formed a close bond from the word go. Marcus, who started his career as a waiter at Soho House, still works for the company as a global consultant. He also introduced her to good friends Amal Clooney and Jessica Moroni. He is reported to have helped her choose her new press chief Sarah Latham. A source close to Marcus said, Marcus is great fun, very witty and amusing. He knows everyone. He's utterly discreet. He and Sarah are amazing people for Meghan to have on her team. Between them they know everyone in the world of politics and show business on both sides of the Atlantic. If Meghan and Harry are looking to become a global brand with their philanthropy, they could not have chosen two better people to guide them. Mr. Anderson was by Meghan's side when she made her first public appearance with Prince Harry in 2017. Last month, he traveled with Meghan to New York for her baby shower and handled the media. Marcus has also been referenced in her now closed TIG blog. Meghan Markle wrote, What would I do without you, my loving? supportive, and endlessly fun friend. I know what. I would be bored, and life would be infinitely less interesting. I love you so much. Happiest of days for you now and always. Love you x. Marcus has even been dubbed the second most important man in her life. After the breakdown of Meghan Markle's first marriage to film producer Trevor Ingelson, Marcus is believed to have arranged days for the former actress. And despite not arranging the first date between Meghan and Harry, he did play a part in helping their relationship develop. He is said to have organized meetings for the pair in private rooms in Soho House and even arranged a trip to the boutique hotel Babington House in Somerset.